right? So this is the verbal understanding, um, sometimes the, um, the written, you get this voice in your human head. I don't, uh, well, I know why. It's because the life backside programmer, um, when they paired your ability to cognitively read something on retina, they paired it with the wrong meaning and gave you a wrong image in your imagination. And so sometimes it invokes, E-N-V-O-K-E-S, the wrong reaction. And um, sometimes the reaction uh, God needs you to have is the complete opposite. Uh, there is only one uh, reaction that's needed, uh, and that is the one the, of uh, formal understanding. Um, there was a movie. Um, first of all, I started uh, the, the thought pattern with the fact that uh, the strobe <coughs> light from last night that I had video recorded, uh, I needed replaced. <clears throat> because the transformer blew, apparently, uh, according to uh, Teofrio seven, n number 75. So, um, I had to, uh, we, I was home alone, uh, my mother asked me to take it down, so I unscrewed the bolts and took the stuff off, um, and then Lewis had to take off the, um, the wire, the end wire. But when I looked, turned it over, it said it was from China, and it was in Spanish. It was Latin um, uh, American English and then Spanish. Why would there be Spanish? Uh, I know on the Spanish it says um, in my Spiritus, uh, Spiritus Santi, uh, the ritmo on the white city in Mexico that has a silk screen over the same Italian flag for the Holy Roman Empire in uh, Rome. Uh, the Mexico was the Roma being the other hemisphere for the, but it is still spoken English for my godly purpose of I have a black Madonna uh, being a shadow figure um, and a onyx, O-N-Y-X. That onyx Onyx pairs to the world being a circle and and goddess Nyx, N-Y-X. Goddess Nyx is the ancient Gre Gratian or uh, Greece, she's gracious, uh, Greece goddess who rides a golden chariot with two dark horses on the way in. Yeah, This is our way of explaining from afterlife into the new kingdom life that uh, I'm being born with a sidecar, I guess you could say, if I was riding a motorcycle, a two-wheel vehicle, and I had a sidecar, right? And Alexander would be my sidecar as my immaculate conception, as the womb of Mary, uh, to bring in the immaculate child. One way or the other, he's a mirror sun image of Niklaus and myself. Um, he either looks like one or the other depending on how um, the space jam is working on fixing the up ahead. What happens is before we were born from, we called it afterlife programming, uh, where we do ghost writing, alien ghost writing. Um, we do observations from our, our system, our system, where we are, uh, where we melt into one another as a cluster, almost like a nebula. And then uh, he and I generate so much thermal, uh, endothermal uh, heat between the two of us that we create a uh, a blended version of the two of us, which is how the Immaculate is uh, conceived bef in cosmic territory before we are born in this atmosphere of human. Uh, and then it is paired by the fortuna of the dexterity and the index for which density is uh, we are being sent to. Um, this, uh, we noted and we made papers 
Um, I have lifetime achievement awards of things that I had brought up to human committees who were committed to fixing the world and fixing the future. Uh, they gave me a lifetime achievement award in, in um, I guess you would call it beforehand, like before you become a baby with a new number, but the sequencing might be out. So I had in the past, but then I'm also ancient, so I know this gets confusing for humans who are like, well, is it an ancient record? Is it a new record? Well, kind of hard because it was a past, so is it pasta? Is it a pesto? Is it a paste? Right, well, here's the thing. Um, for you glue people, G-L-U-E, uh, who also call it paste, P-A-S-T-E. E with an E at the end instead of pasta, which is an A. Uh, the uh, when I was born, uh, Elmer, being E L M E R, uh, was the glue factory. They made both. Um, they made both the paste of Elmer, and they also made the liquid viscous uh, Elmer glue out of a bottle. Yep. Um, in a, uh, you go to the store and you buy it, you no longer make it at home. I don't know, no, when I was little, he used to make glue at home uh, by himself. We'd make our own paste um, with natural ingredients. I don't know the recipe anymore. I'm too, uh, it's eluded me. Uh, I, actually, it's been erased out of my memory, but it's, it's there in some format. Oh, I just don't know the particulars. Um, yeah, actually, I don't know the particles that go into it to make it the chemistry alchemy experiment to make it work, but whatever. Um, that's what's going on for humans, uh, part of the space jam problem. So in 1996, um, the uh, world of whatever, Mickey Mouse uh, sticker club and helping a goddess out with a couple of few things and scripts uh, in the big movie screen way of explaining to um, Americans, I suppose, uh, what's going on in Space Jam that we documented elsewhere to make it more real for you um, so you could figure out the characters. There was Marvin the Martian holding the one basketball about this big, yeah? had a helmet on it like a uh, Trojan or a Roman soldier with the, the thing with the right the helmet I don't know I don't know your exact ancients I'm not a scholar um, but so you had that as Marvin the Martian and it was a green skin not to be confused with the kale people Marvin the Martian and the little green men in Russia pale in comparison pale I'm pale I am not green uh, so I don't look like my skin is the color right of fecal matter after you eat a lot of green vegetables So my skin is pale in comparison to kale it rhymes um, One has a P one has a K um, So that is that but Space Jam if you looked at going back to the glue um, Elmer Fudd is in the Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny cartoon in Bugs Bunny cartoon, um, the rings around all of the characters at the end of every show is orange. And it has a pig, it has uh, a bunny, it has the, the hunter, the white hunter with, that was bald with the gun. It has um, whatever else, the, the devil dog, thing, the brown devil, whatever, that spins, the Tasmanian devil. Uh, all sorts of things in the show. They're all linked by a green, um, a green uh, circle. With the movie Space Jam in 1996 with Michael Jordan, Bugs Bunny, and all of the characters, right? It was some alien, I say bushwhack, but it's smack whack. I don't know. It's on my Instagram thing. I pulled up to Google so you could see the exact spelling of the English words. Um, it is where they steal the NBA court. Uh, being the alien court from elsewhere um, and it is like uh, Marvin the Martian would be myself and Nick Klaus in the sense that we did ghost writing uh, alien ghost writing before we were born based on what we witnessed uh, to explain certain events with timing issues and what the humans were up to that's what we take care of in God and Goddess and Holy Roman Empire uh, that still exists but in 
uh, it was deleted out of like everybody's cognition for some reason on this side of the water um, for uh, things that we had uncovered and discovered that we were trying to explain but it was messing with the um, English version because they wouldn't trust Niklaus's parents who was the Caesar for the Holy Roman Empire it has nothing to do with religion because he was to look over and protect Caterusa and get Antonine into the Catholic Holy Roman Catholic Empire as a Caesar to be recognized but it never happened it happened in image only but it never went into play in real demographics in real world which then confused the humans as to how is that possible well because we have an ongoing investigation with the humans um, there's a cross that Quetzalcoatl had documented back in history with the kale skin people of South America being the Incan and the Mayan of different color than the Western European of, of any whatever. Uh, so I don't want Russia and their little green men to get confused. You and Martian the Mar Marvin are pale in comparison to the green uh, people that uh, want us pale people to bear their cross, uh, then we are trying to protect their innocent, but their evil people, and then they get mad that we call some of them evil, but that's because we know the difference. We documented that in India, in the Vedas, I believe, where one of the longer names, uh, that's a lot of consonants, no vowels, um, that stated about the jinn, uh, we spelled it with a J-I-N or a G-I-N depending on the power of the severity of the crime um, and also the severity of the skin color and who it was attached to in the um, Mex the white city in Mexico where I am the goddess uh, and the Madonna the Annex Madonna with a pale skin and, and all these characters throughout history I have to ghost write somehow to let your officials know I mean you normally don't travel you don't put the whole Atlas together with her seven sisters and all the names and then go on some Easter egg hunt and quest and sequence to find out what my I'm up to and what I'm reporting on. So that goes back to uh, Quetzalcoatl and the Jaguar Priestess as well, which are the godly names when I'm doing alien ghost writing that I use in order to give you accurate intel based on the problems of your land, who's being affected. You get different words. I'm the giver of words. I don't know. I mean, in your particular areas, you know um, there's a matching of your confidential um, informant records along with for management in order to police and patrol and keep watch and then register your own people in the sense of do you see the changes so you can explain to yourself the system and fix and help your people fix and then globally help fix the entire Holy Roman Empire which is what I stand over on the um, on the America side of Latin America, we report it as the white uh, city in Mexico. The flagship is the same, except one has a silk over it. Um, it's still the Latin English, which is uh, myself um, being the head of that ghost writing committee, um, who pairs in the uh, El Dorado, the city of El Dorado, the the city of the lost city of El Dorado. Right, yeah, okay, well, Lost City of Atlantis, being myself, the only Atlantean ever, along with Niklaus, were the only two in the Holy Roman Empire. See how this goes? It tells a story so you can cognitively grasp a reality that's happening outside of your, your, your local awareness. Um, but the problem is, is that the more that you educate the wrong non-Zodiac approved uh, listed people and put them in official places, it becomes a problem then and then it becomes my bear, my cross to bear. I report on it as a ghost writer from Alien Space Jam. I come to be in real life and here's what actually happened. So Space Jam, um, there's also Bugs Bunny. I put up, normally Bugs Bunny is inside of the orange rings of Space Jam, uh, of Looney Tunes Circle, yeah? I spelled all this perfectly on the um, 
on the whatchamacallit, so I'm not doing it again, it's on Facebook. So, um, it, but in the single Bugs Bunny, it was a purple ring around just bugs. And then it was um, the Fred Flintstone cape with the, with the rod um, as a, an extra special royal. And then it was um, uh, Marvin, uh, no, then it was uh, something else. So it's up there. Um, but what happened was they reported uh, Yosemite Sam is one with the orange face like the carrot top right and he's in the old the old west and he's shooting a double shooter with two guns like you steal my woman i will come for you i will kill you right uh the older one elmer fudd being the older the more reserved the the more traditional uh, he only had he's a rifle and only one gun yeah but and he's bald that goes back to the Elmer Fudd being the generation I wrote about it in Ghost Alien writing for um, the way that men were when there was one rifle in a generation from my grandfather's era, right? For no-no in 1911, 1910, 1911. That's the Elmer Fudd generation. I think that Clint Eastwood, uh, the, oh my God, it, if I had an American grandfather that lived for, to see my day, I had wished he looked like him. Oh, what a handsome man. And that he was as angry as him at the beginning of uh, Gran Torino for the Gran Turismo and the Gran Turd plan. Turd being T-U-R-D. Sounds like third. T-H-I-R-D. Somebody got mad. They're like, are you making fun of my accent? I said, do I look like I'm making fun of your accent? I need these words and I need them to sound right. So yes, the turd being whatever country you come from, it doesn't matter. It sounds perfect because it sounds like the toilet talk that I'm working on for spelling things the same way, but it goes towards the script that I am working to explain to the humans. So thank you, uh, whoever that was. In afterlife programming, but then there's sometimes there's real life people I call that I need, um, that I need, that I have to walk to, right? I walk on their set when they're alive and I need to document them. And then when they die and they come into afterlife programming, I can sit down and have another conversation and ask things uh, to help other areas out. So that's the way that it works um, when it's working. Uh, so that was Space Jam. So Space Jam had a whole bunch of really tall giants, all different colors, because they educated themselves on the system God was trying to keep quiet, her extra special and extraordinary way of communicating with you all, so you're all protected in some format from the trouble that's going on in elsewhere territory. Once you start moving people, you start mixing religious books, you start mixing like skin color, it becomes extremely difficult to police the planet properly. And then you get angry at Crown Royal. And that's why they deleted myself out of history and the historic accurate reference. And then we had to remind the humans to go dig for them in their area resource and look for these things, it, I will come visit you, it's the same face, I need some form of a signature and witness statement to protect myself, because when I come and I'm born, the way that things are going, I have it aligned one way with my sidecar being my son, for the immaculate new conception for the Christians, but it's also the occult, because so I have to protect myself as the Holy Roman Empire, because as I go around and speak to people, they always think it's Catholic, and I said, I get that I said that I'm their representative on a, a religious institution like good people good things side and they hold on to some of my area resource but I travel the world in a goddess form in ancient times and in a new in the renewing of the mother of earth with um, the dying earth at the moment uh, that I was coming to be born in. But again, these are all things that we said look out if you see changes in your humans document it. But you keep insisting now I'm born and you give out computers and whatnot. Um, oh, and the Jessica Rabbit thing, that was part of the Space Jam um, with Bugs Bunny. So Bugs Bunny is the traditional um, non-sexual, like, smart guy, just chewing on a car carrot, happens to know, just passing the information along, do 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 I'm not really nosy, but you need to know this to keep your people safe, yeah? Great. Then you have um, Jessica Rabbit, who's this incredibly vivacious and uh, voluptuous woman who is like every guy's dream, but for the bedroom. Not for her to run around in public and make everybody jealous and want to go 
steal her and then cause problems yeah so that is um, where and then she has little Roger Rabbit uh, who she loves more than anything and the first uh, episode of it was who censored Roger Rabbit and then the second one is who robbed Robert Roger Rabbit those were the two names for the same movie that also I documented and put up on Facebook and Instagram in case you didn't catch it um, so the the Space Jam court was all of the really major players on planet Earth um, that were self-educating themselves and helping themselves to whatever they wanted uh, as I was trying to fix the world on, and future and build it the correct way on my life achievement on my way in. They wanted to thwart this life achievement. They kept stealing the life achievements that I had won, then educating themselves and then building a, a way around in trapping and enslaving me, the God, into their new, holy found whatever relic they designed for themselves, which I kept trying to get other humans on board to delete it, but it started manifesting in real world and becoming an even bigger problem and you guys couldn't handle it. So now, day one woman, who is your first alert and your last shot and chance for survival on a dying earth plan, which is where you delivered me and my sidecar, being Alexander James, into the wrong marriage. There was no proposal, um, there, was, there was no, actually there was no proposal by either Jason Romer or by Anthony Tiafrio. They just impregnated me like I was just supposed to deal with it. Just like your asshole humans that on the one basketball court of Space Jam, I had noted up front. Problem is, somebody in the Middle East said that I was too sexual and vivacious for the Arabian or the Jewish community um, because they had heard and seen things up ahead. Right, those are the gypsy moths. I have them, you have gypsies that walk the lands and try to search out and find land intel and cause and stir up big problems elsewhere by learning things they're not allowed to know because they're not locals. You keep your local policing information and intel to yourself. You listen to a gypsy if it comes, but you never talk to them ever. Right, well then they were, worked a backwards plan where they started sending people to do that and then searching for that person on their special patent that uh, the Queen protest church of everything that's holy and sacred in London because my parents weren't, my side of the family wasn't in that kingdom nor were they acknowledged by the holy Catholic kingdom either. I had double broken branch which your all area assholes of the skin kale kind turds of the communic telecommunications with the silk road assholes uh, right they discovered some silk worm right um, they are big on silks in South Korea they have big machines like big operations uh, that should have been your first clue as to who the enemy was stupid but I know 1960s America was already kind of pre-programmed wrong. They were told to go to college while the other guys went off to fight the enemy. And then the, the new ge next generation had to listen to all the mentally institutionalized in the college coming out with all the wrong misprogramming and not and forgetting who the enemy was and loving the LSD and the pod and we love every, we're just gonna have a pubic hair affair with ourselves and the world. Oh my god, you were such a fucking disaster at Elmer Fudland. Um, so I said, that's why I said, I will take the grand third uh, plan of the Third Reich of the Germans of killing all of the facially disfigured Silk Road people. Um, not the Jewish people, but, well, I mean, if you took on um, that appearance, I don't know what to tell you at, like, holy sacred bloodlines, but mm, not the smartest. I wouldn't take on genetic water that I couldn't afford, but whatever. So, um, there we are with, um, that's how that all ties together between Bugs Bunny. There was a purple ring around just Bugs, and he's Elmer Fudd, which is the paste, which is the viscous, but it's also the, 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 the paste, and it's uh, now a commercial brand, Elmer, E-L-M-E-R, sold in a box store, is what they called it, or a commercial store, uh, because no, nobody makes anything at home anymore, nor do they know how. 
because um, there's nothing natural about this world or this land in America, in Northern America, the 50 postage stamps that I was delivered. Uh, part of the Space Jam chronicles and chronic problem that I documented as the Ghost Rider, I don't know why none of my government, none of my religious institutions, and none of the people have even come to check on me to make sure I was okay and awake and alive, being that there were in those reports all of the devious um, the plan and the plot and the dates and everything where they were going to hurt me. I'm born to this earth. I, did, I didn't like bring a uh, attache case of papers with me uh, when I came out of my mother's womb. I'm born here with a birth certificate like everybody else. I said I may have papers and documents and lifetime achievement before I'm born again being I have worked the uh, lifetime achievement and the building the roads on the way in where I notated all of the problems. But now that I'm here, the sidecar is coming with me as the last ditch effort to make you humans wake the fuck up and come help me. Why would you waste 41 years and why would you allow uh, Jason Romer or Tia Frio to enter my womb through their whatever to help out the Space Jam assholes that make me bear their cross of like being cross and not getting their parts right. Why do I have to bear their four mistaked children in my womb for all area assholes to do anything? And you still haven't done anything because here I am just standing on the side of the street explaining this without my car, without a house, without money, without an education, without any contacts to go help myself but with all of the facial and previous uh, pre-announcements where you never gave me any assurances that I was ever going to be taken care of uh, that my parents were aware of. So how would you like me to help myself when I'm the first and the last hope that you ever have and you totally fuck with my ability to help humans while I'm living here in an explainable manner to the public? I'm just curious for all of you assholes that devised the plan to help Silk Road and your personal pocket and your personal stock portfolio rather than helping the actual woman who was advising and trying to help you not have your children hurt and your, your lands invaded by the known assailants from elsewhere in a timing mechanism that you weren't aware of until I brought it up. And then you didn't want to believe how it worked as we went along where you were still not fucking doing what I needed. You were just doing enough to not whatever. Not die, I suppose. Yeah, I, I would like to know what humans expect. Alexander and I are sidecarred together, but we have no Niklaus. That was unacceptable. So uh, I need to know how you're going to fix your part because I can't go on living with no money, no means to afford anything, and with uh, Alexander living with Jason Romer in a separate house because now I've lost everything. Uh, whatever little I was able to obtain by working the hard way, which I said is the stupidest fucking human way, but they built it that way and then they forced me to live through it. Yeah, that's where we're at.